This is just a quick update to my project on the Fluke 9010A main board. If you've seen the previous videos on this project then you'll know that the goal is to reproduce the main board from the Fluke 9010A but because the Fluke needs the keyboard and display board to function there's not a lot of uh, value in me reproducing just the main board. I need to find some solution for uh, a replacement display and keyboard. Now there are many options, there's obviously millions of uh, different ways this could be done but what I'm looking for is something that approximates the appearance of the uh, original Fluke. I will not be reproducing the plastic or the case or the metal work um, but what I want is the ability for someone to uh, do that if they want to or even just use the boards to repair uh, an old failed Fluke and so it gives more uh, usefulness for the project. Um, but there are lots of ways that um, we can approach the two uh, main issues we have here which are the display and the keyboard. The main board's fine, that's not an issue, all the parts are fairly easy to obtain but the uh, display, I haven't really found a sensible solution for that yet. Uh, again there are various options, the 14 segment LED seems the most uh, promising but I have not yet been able to find one that um, is small enough to using this application. Uh, the digits are only about 5 millimeters tall so uh, and it's 32 wide so the standard sizes for the LEDs it's just too big. Um, you'd end up with a display that was uh, wider than the machine. Um, but I'm still looking for that. Uh, it may be that what I end up doing is using uh, an LCD and then just simulating the, um, the 14 segments but I don't really want to do that. I want to keep it as true to the uh, original as I can. And so to that end we move on to the keyboard and this is really what this video is about. I'd like some feedback on uh, the various options that uh, I found. I uh, had a very interesting um, message from someone who was interested in possibly reproducing the uh, the keyboard or having me reproduce it but they would uh, pay for it. So that's uh, one very promising avenue. I'm currently getting quotes for the, a membrane version of this but I'm not a big fan of membrane keyboards on test equipment. Uh, this is the sort of thing we're talking about. So these uh, have uh, tactile domes but while they work they I don't really like using them on test equipment. They, they are a bit of a pain and uh, although, as I say, they do function, um, they never really feel quite as nice as a mechanical key. So looking around, I had uh, other uh, comments from various people and one pointed me towards a Chinese site that was selling uh, caps, uh, keys with clear caps. Now I'd seen these before and I'd actually already ordered, I think, what was an identical switch and cap set off eBay. Things are taking a very long time to turn up at the moment for uh, obvious reasons. Um, but what I ordered was uh, mechanical switches and I ordered um, sort of bags of them. They're extremely cheap, they're only a few pounds for something like this but what's um, available is it's a proper mechanical key. So very nice, it's got a nice uh, weight to it as well fairly slim so uh, it will fit into this application without the need to make any changes to the, uh, the physical layout if uh, the board was being replaced. So there's the key and then there's a, a cap and a clear insert. I don't know how clearly these will come out uh, on the camera but uh, you've got a cap that clips onto the top of the switch and then there's a clear cap that clips onto this and the idea is that you can put a card with text or whatever you want um, in between the two. So I've been doing some uh, experimenting and what I can end up with is something that looks like this. Now because of the way that the keys are arranged this looks a lot smaller than these keys. But it's actually only about half a millimetre smaller, it's almost identical in size and it's partly an optical illusion because of the, um, the hole in the uh, panel and the dark uh, uh, area around it but um, the key is almost identical size and as you can see I can make the text uh, match the, um, the actual text on the keys. So if we do another one, uh, not only can I make the text match but I can also make the colour match. 
they're not perfect they're not exactly the same but of course this is a nice mechanical key and if it was soldered uh, to the board and was the same height as these it would not look identical but it would be fairly close uh, and of course it would be quite a nice solution because all the keys can be the correct color and um, we would need to have to figure something out for the um, the overlay on the panel itself um, but that should be relatively straightforward to do that can just be a, a self-adhesive uh, panel uh, it's mainly the keys that I want to get sorted out and um, as I say we could go down the tactile dome um, membrane keys but uh, I really would prefer not to go that route um, but really now it's over to you what uh, what do you think um, do you think the uh, tactile dome is the way to go it would be more expensive I think uh, or do we stick with mechanical keys and uh, I'll just do uh, uh, a set of um, sheets so I wouldn't be providing the made up keys what I would do is I would just provide the boards and then a sheet that um, was printed off and then it would be up to the individual builder to cut out the uh, individual um, cap overlays and uh, assemble the switches um, but what you'd end up with is something that very closely matches the, um, the original machine um, as I say, it's not uh, perfect, it's not identical, but I think it would give something that looks uh, quite similar and would obviously feel very similar to the actual keys. I think, if anything, are probably slightly nicer than the flu. The flu's got a bit of a, a dead feel to it, but it's still quite a nice mechanical key, uh, whereas these are uh, much more uh, tactile. Um, but uh, I said, uh, overall appearance wise, they should be quite close. So, uh, comments and feedback welcome and um, the rest of it in terms of uh, doing the board is relatively straightforward.